So that's uh, that's what the new uh, version of hand clock. Um, I hadn't looked at it for a while. Um, I mean, I had one. I've used it uh, particularly to uh, show the track of the uh, International Space Station. And, um, and so when uh, Poop asked me to talk about this, um, I went and, and got it back out and looked it up. And it's like, oh, they've done some major upgrades. And in fact, the latest update was uh, last Saturday. So um, they've, you can see they've added quite a bit to it, including all of the uh, um, traces for uh, you know DX and all that kind of stuff. Plus, you still have the um, solar data and lunar data. Um, just for a quick note here, this um, DE is, is you, that's, that's, uh, that's your location, that's uh, my grid square in my house. DX um, is one of the stations that you've collect, clicked at somewhere and it will give you information about its grid square, how far away it is from you. Um, but all these uh, panels are adjustable, uh, so I want to change. I want to look. Uh, let's see where is uh, there's the ISS. If I turn that on, I select OK, and it takes it a second to update. Ah, and do, 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 do. well, it's buried under all this stuff. So let me turn off the DX cluster for a second here. Ah, there's the there's the International Space Station right there, and you can select any one of the satellites. And they've gotten to this point now so that it will, um, you can actually hook it up and use it to control uh, your uh, antenna. You know, if you've got uh, rotate azimuth ele uh, elevation uh, control on your antenna, this will actually control and help you uh, track it. Um, some of the other cool features, um, like, okay, here's the sun, here's solar information. Uh, let's see, let's look at a different version of the sun. And it takes it a second to uh, pop up. And this is all just like Geocron. This is all internet-based. So you can see, uh, you can get different looks at the sun, different uh, filters that they use to uh, study the sun. Um, one of the other new additions that I know some of you are going to really enjoy is uh, POTA. And it gives you what's happening currently on POTA. And you can see all the stations pop up <laughs> and everybody who's on POTA. So just get in there and start working. <laughs> get their numbers up. Um, and let's see what else we got up here. Oh, and it also, it also does so. And of course, we've got the uh, DX cluster, and it's going to start popping back up here and uh, filling in just a little bit. Um, and then, of course, the map. And I've got basic terrain here. Uh, you can, uh, oh, we can do a maximum usable frequency. Let's see what happens here. So, take it a second to update. And there we go. So yeah, it looks like uh, we're we're doing pretty good here in in North America, but it looks like over uh, to to the south and to the east, it's uh, it's not looking so good. Um, turn that off right now so that it doesn't. And let's see. Also, there are different different versions of uh, of the map. You can look at the Mercator projection. You can look at the azimuthal projection, uh, depending on what it is that you'd like to look at. Um, so the biggest the biggest thing about uh, this versus uh, the Geocron, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the control panel right quick and if Dave wants to shoot the wall. Uh, wall. I'm going to select this one and then building sources. Put the geocron there and then EOC. Okay. 
On that side, you can see a geocron. It's back in the server room. And, uh, and of course, here's my uh, ham clock over here. So 500 bucks versus 50 bucks. So yeah, you get some more information. You get some more detail. One of the big things that you get with the geocron is most of the, every, all that stuff is done for you. You get a little remote that you can quickly say, oh, I want to just look at the 160 meter band and see how it's propagating that kind of stuff. Whereas the uh, ham clock, you got to be willing to like get under the hood and do some poking around and it's a little bit more fiddly. So uh, that's the biggest difference. They do carry a lot of the same information. Geocron has a little bit, has some things that ham clock doesn't have. Ham clock has some stuff that Geocron doesn't have. Um, but for, uh, you know, for the price and, um, the other thing now is, uh, the ham clock is Linux. So it, um, if, uh, if you can run, um, uh, a Linux shell on the windows PC, then you can run hand clock in that. Otherwise you need a Linux machine or basically like a raspberry Pi. or I just found just this week, a thing called, um, uh, in Innovato, it makes a little, um, basically it's a ready to go package. So when you get it, all you have to do is put in your, uh, call sign, your grid square and that kind of stuff. So that's basically a uh, ham clock in a nutshell. Um, I, uh, okay. It's not taking the, uh, ham clock. I can do it locally, but I can't go out on Okay. Okay. So anyway, there, there it is. Um, anybody have any questions? So Randy, a hand clock, two questions. Number one, it's $50. Is that a one-time thing? Actually, the $50 is for the Raspberry Pi. Hand clock is free. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I had to set it over here because um, but basically, it's this little box right here. And that's the one from Minovato. It, uh, it was $59 for, you know, for the, it was 49 for the box and $10 for taxes and shipping and handling. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, there's a, for another ten dollars you get uh, you get the uh, I'm trying to get here because I wanted to get you show you some uh, some uh, URLs. Uh, but uh, no, the Raspberry Pi I I run it on a Raspberry Pi four, um, and it works fine. Yeah, there we go. That's the little Innovato that was uh, shipping. To my house was uh, fifty nine dollars for that little box, and like I said, uh, the uh, software is free. It's uh, clearskyinstitute dot com forward slash ham forward slash ham clock. Um, individual by the name of um, let me get his name up here. Playing with the mouse and it's going to the wrong thing. Uh, it was created by Elwood Downey W B zero Oscar. Echo Whiskey. Uh, he's, this is his website, and he's got all kinds of techno kind of stuff, some of it ham related, some of it not. And then, of course, uh, this I bought from online from innovato.com. So, any other questions? Yes. Yeah, uh, if we could get back to the ham clock. Yeah, I was talking about the uh, the uh, DX spotting versus um, like these these things over here. Let me get this back to DE. Ah, come on. Go to the XMFO. There we go. All right. So, okay, 
I'm going to bring up another little box that they've got in here that's if for those people that are seriously into um, into propagation predictions and all that kind of stuff. So here's where you can choose what band you want to check. You can choose um, whether you're doing 100 watts, whether you're doing C CW, what your takeoff angle is. And you can even click here and, you know, you can go from one watt all the way up to uh, Jack Cox uh, power levels. So <laughs> a thousand watts. <laughs> but, but then, uh, uh, let's see. Well, let's see, 20 meters uh, and at about 4 o'clock UTC, it's going to calculate. And you can see down here on the bottom, it has... Uh, um, what's going to work in, far, in terms of what your takeoff angle is. And of course, takeoff angle depends on what kind of antenna it is, what kind of ground you're over, and how high it is in the air. It's all going to affect your... And I'm still... i would be quite honest, I don't know enough about these, uh, these uh, uh, propagation colorings as, as what I would like to... Um, Carl, KB9DKR, he was the one that was really knows that kind of stuff. He works with that a lot. But like I said, there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Um, if you don't mind poking around and doing a little bit of uh, tweaking and, and not necessarily programming, but you know, figuring out which buttons you need to push for which thing, then, then uh, ham clock is a, is a viable option and it's fun to play with. And uh, here again, it's Raspberry Pi, so you know if you've got youngsters around that are uh, kind of interested into science or something, this would be a good thing to get started with them. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Randy. Let's. Thank you.